Hi everyone, it's Bev DeBono with Tuesday's Tip. Today I want to play around again with the tag punch, the new 3-in-1 bevel tag punch, and show you a way that you can make a continuous border with the tag punch. Usually for a tag punch, we think we can only punch tags, and this particular punch can punch a one inch tag, a two inch tag, and a two and a half inch tag. But by using the punch upside down very carefully, you can make a continuous border, uh, which you can use on your pages. I like to use a stripe with this because sometimes these overall patterns may be a little more difficult to work with. So I have found that by using a stripe and cutting it down and using it for your borders, it breaks it up a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, flip it over because it's a little easier to see on this side. And I'm going to turn my tag punch upside down. Now you have to be very careful because of the bevel and you when you uh, insert your paper through here. Um, so just be very careful and don't pull it. And I am going to insert my paper into the tag punch upside down. And I'm going to start where my edge of my paper meets the edge of the tag punch itself. And it's all the way to the back. And I'm going to press it down and punch. Being very careful when you move your paper through the tag punch. And again, and right where the edge of your paper meets the edge of the tag punch and punch it again. The reason I turn it over when I punch is because you don't want these little pieces to get stuck into your punch and to clog it up. Very carefully, again, move it down and punch. And you can see that you're making a really nice continuous border. Um, very carefully though, because you don't want to rip your paper. And with the, and when you get to the edge at the end, because this is a two and a half inch tag, it's going to give you a half of a tag for the last one, and that's fine. And then just punch that out. And when you take it out, you see that you've got a beautiful continuous border and a very quick and easy one at that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut this down to two and a half. Just insert in my trimmer, cut it down to the two and a half where the high points end at the two and a half inch mark. And now I'm gonna adhere it directly onto my page. And you can see how quick and easy this is and it makes a really fast, fast page. And you can use your border um, vertical or horizontal. In this case, I made a matching one, so you can have a double page spread. And then I also played around with the possibility of instead of cutting the paper, I started with an eight inch piece and punched the top and the bottom and left it as a continuous piece. So you see how nice that looks as well. Again, with a stripe, and it cuts the um, amount and the heaviness of the stripe in half. So I hope that you enjoy today's tip, and it's using the new three-in-one bevel tag punch to make a continuous border. Tune in next week. Bye-bye.